Hello everybody, this is Mr. Shell here doing another video on helping you manage your programs. Today I will show you how to burn a PS2 game using Nero 8. This video is part of a series of videos on showing you how to burn PS2 games using most burning ROM programs like Alcohol 120% and DVD Decryptor as well as other programs so if you have Nero 8 and you want to burn a PS2 game you should be watching this video this is a simple guide on how to do it this is the typical Nero interface if you have an older Nero like Nero 7, Nero 6 so on what you need to look for Nero burning ROM that is Nero burning ROM ROM on Nero 8 you just go to applications list like I just did and you find Nero burning ROM you close this program on Nero burning ROM and you go to image burning burn image before I do that I will show you a PS2 game typically if you download it from a website it will come in a raw format it's it will may look like this which you will have to extract into an image like this or it may already be an image however a more complex way um, the way people do it is they have like 20 to 60 raw files called raw 1, raw 2, raw 3, raw 4 so on and what you do is extract extract again and it will burn into one of these which will either be an image file where or you will have to extract it again into one of these another image file it does not always look like this it will sometimes look like this it, if it's like 2 to 4 gig you have got it right or sometimes on all the shorter games it will be like 1 gig the size does not matter if, uh, if I'll show you how to check if it is an image file that looks like this using WinRAW to extract these games you have to have WinRAW itself you can download WinRAW from a link on my video description as well as download a trial of Nero 8 from my video description as well as any other programs that I may mention in this uh, video so if you have an image file in one of your folders or an image file that looks like this in one of your folders go to Nero 8 burning ROM uh, burn recorder burn image Right, if it appears in here, in this program, you've got an image file. If a raw sort of folder appears, that is an image file, then it, you've got an image file in a raw format a sort of folder. So if it appears in this screen here, whilst you're in bur near a burning ROM, then you've got an image file and you can open it and you can burn it to disk and you can play it on your PS2. That is modified. Okay, you open it, so you select it and you open it, and you should have a screen like this. I'm burning it onto a DVD disc. You can all the games you can burn onto a CD disc, CD discs, newer games, which one I've heard of is God of War 2. You have to burn on a to a DVD double layer disc because the game requires a lot more space on the disc. I think it's like 6 gig or so uh, older games like Crazy Taxi require CD games they're like 600 MB you can burn CD games onto DVD discs and you can't burn double layer you can burn DVD discs onto double layer discs but you can't do it in reverse so if you have a flip there screen like this you are on your way I suggest you use a DVD minus disc because it is a little bit easier on a laser of the PS2 but a DVD plus disc will not make much difference so you put your disc in so the program knows what sort of disc you've got in and it will just take a few mm, seconds to find out what disc it is you may hear the noises of my drive dum, 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 dum. Okay, here we go. It is configured to the DVD I've put in. So you see info, there's the file size, there's the DVD size. There's uh, there's a normal screen. 
the disk info just to check you that your disk is in fact empty just go to disk info and it will show you and show you the type of disk your type your tracks so on and so forth okay I suggest you do burn it in a slower speed if you've got like a 16 speed test burner in 8 times if you've got an 8 times disk then an 18 8 speed disk um, burner at 4 speed so so that all the info goes on a little bit slower and a little more bit more accurate okay so this is what you do I will not actually burn it onto a disk in this video as it is a whistle disk and I have already got this game you just press burn and it will stop burning this will not come up because you should have a disk in uh, if I close it then it will go away so it will just load loading it will take you 10 to so on minutes and it will say ISO 9660 I think and it will work fine okay so you use this is using Nero burning ROM so if you have any more questions on the vi this video or any other of my videos please send me a message or leave a comment in the video and I will try and get back to you as soon as possible thanks for watching everybody if you like this video please subscribe if um, if you have any questions please ask if you have any tips on how to improve my videos be nice uh, also comment and thank you everybody for watching my video I enjoyed making it. Thanks everybody.